on the walls of my mother's house. And underneath, you can fill the wallpaper up and still see like my drawings and everything. So that's when I, the earliest I remember, at least my mother told me that I was an artist. And ever since, you know, I was of the age to be able to say, well, what is art? I don't know, understand it better. That's when I decided to really go into it as a career. I started my formal, formal education at, in high school, actually. Nothing but art classes is my final year, my senior year, so that was, that was really motivating um, for me to be able to take all those classes my last year. Well, actually, I studied a little bit at um, Prescott College in Arizona, decided to go for art education, and then I always wanted to come back, come back to Atlanta, and there were a lot of motivational women in my life that I really looked up to, and a lot of, a lot of them went to Spelman, so after that was Spelman College. At Georgia State University, um, I'm also active, very active in the community. Part of the Arts Council there at Georgia State University, trying to get art out in the community. So for me, art is like an all-encompassing experience that everybody should be able to have. Well, gold is definitely something that doesn't tarnish. Uh, it's something that can last a long time. In reference to memories, memories last a long time. Childhood memories, and there's also the certain type of chairs that I use from the Bobo period that are very classical, very old, very high quality products. So I wanted to reference the, the very fine nature of those chairs through the use of gold. Charcoal, acrylic washes, paints, basically anything I can get my hands on. I may buy materials, you know, years, years from now and use them not until years later uh, in a piece. So for me it's all experimental, so I also use cyanotype. So it's whatever I have access to at that time. I don't want to tell all of the story. I feel like the more evocative works allow for the viewer to pull their own narrative from their own memories and develop their own relationship with the work. So I'm not really dictating what I want the viewer to 